This looks very Pottery Barn-esque. Oh my gosh. Okay, this dish, I think I saw something similar at Pottery Barn that was marble. I think this would be perfect to recreate that item. I have a really fun DIY technique for this next piece. So again, I'm going to start by removing all of the labels and the tape and cleaning it up. Next, I'm going to get a clean base, so I'm just going to spray paint the entire piece with a flat white spray paint. And I'll do the outside and the inside. Now I'm going to give it a marble technique. So what you need to do for this is get a bucket of water. So next you're going to add in the secret ingredient, which is the sea glass spray paint. I use the one in the color ice. What you're gonna do is spray the spray paint on the top of the water. And this creates like a fun texture. Then you're going to dip the piece straight into the container and pull it straight up. This creates like a faux marble technique. You're going to continue to do this all around your piece till you get that entire marble look. Then before I do the lid, I'm just going to use a paper towel to take off the excess spray paint on the top of my water. I'll spray some additional in and then I'm going to dip my lid in. Now you can dip it in until you have the desired look that you're going for, but I think this turned out so cute. It definitely gives it the marble appearance. She's not very tall. Look at this big like wicker basket, probably for laundry, but could be for a plant or something else. So we all know that Pottery Barn has a lot of baskets, so I wanna try to recreate a basket for you. I found this one, and several of the baskets at Pottery Barn have leather handles, so I'm gonna see if I can recreate this one with leather handles. <laughs> so with the basket, I'm going to remove all the tags. Next, I spray painted it with this ultra matte spray paint. Anytime you're spray painting wicker, you're gonna have to lay on the spray paint pretty thick. So I started with it upside down, then I flipped it over and did the front side, making sure I got into all of those grooves. Next, I'm gonna be using some Dollar Tree faux leather. They have this in their vinyl section. And I measured how long my existing handles are. I'm gonna draw a line straight across and cut out my leather. Then I'm going to wrap my leather around the handle and I want the pieces to go straight down. So I'm gonna do two of those pieces, one on each side. Then I'm just gonna simply use some hot glue to hold it in place. I'm going to bring the handles so that they go down as well. Now on the edges, I kind of rounded them with my scissors because that was a similar look to the Pottery Barn piece and I'll hot glue them to the bottom. I had gone to Michael's in search of some brads and I found this set of brads at Michael's. I was going to use them to push on the edges to mimic the look of the Pottery Barn piece, but I didn't like the tacks sticking through the other side. So I actually cut those off with my wire cutters and just hot glued them in place. And you'll repeat this step on the other side. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.